So we're down a colour sound experiment with Hayden and I've got a few of his toys here. First one is this thing behind us, this Chevy truck, which is uh, quite something. It is, it's the 2020 competition car, 1947 Chevy C10. Not really. So you're going to see this on the... No, not, not at all, <laughs> definitely not. So you've got a few toys down here. We've just been looking at the S14s over the other yeah, side. Yeah, we've got a few S14s which are somewhat neglected these days, but yep. still one of my favourite drift car chassis. Can't yeah, beat yeah, yeah. them really, but too many other Toyota toys to... I mean, we don't play with them so much anymore. So this one's just to nip, nip to, to and from work and back Yeah, sometimes. this is just for doing the shopping and cruising around on a Sunday. But um, proper drift car wise. Proper drift car, the Cresta still in play, the JZX81, favourite car I've ever bought, uh, absolutely fine. But we have spent the last two and a half years now building uh, a JZX100 with an LSXR. And it's... I got a glance of it at, um, at RDC last year, and it's some machine. You've gone, it, you've gone to town on it. It is. It's a beast. It's, it's, it's been a project in just do it right and do yep. it, do it once. And it's, it's took a long time. There's been some hiccups along the way, um, but it is now a thousand and seven horsepower of awesomeness, which is mental. That touches on to obviously we've chatted to some other drivers, and you know, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. It's sort of becoming almost normal, which is scary. Are you going to be using it at, at that thousand horsepower level? No, I think that'll just be for demo days and, and, and fun days out up the drag strip or whatever. We'll be running it, you know, with a lower pressure pulley at about 750 horsepower. Right. But the exciting bit is the torque and the fact that from 1500 RPM in any gear, you put your foot down and it does the drifting It'll thing. spin the wheels. Yeah. Whatever tyres are on it, it will Absolutely. spin the wheels. Yeah. So basic spec of that car. What, what sort of what's so on it? So it, uh, it was the cleanest JZX100 I could find. It was bone stock. Yep. We stripped it down literally to the bare shell, threw everything away, uh, seam welded it, and then it's got a CVM built LSR motor in it with a, an F1 Pro charger. Right. Uh, G-Force box. Um, it's got Heyman steering. Uh, it's got DG5 suspension big arms so it, it really is a Japan meets America Bit kind of, of mishmash Motec dash all the electronics of Motec yep it's impressive stuff you've not had loads of driving this year so far but previously you've done quite a lot in Japan as well a few trips over there yeah we do Japan at least once a year we've got a couple of S14s me and the missus over there and I've got a chaser as well right um, that's it's boosted up a bit but it's relatively stock um, and the 14s again are fairly, they're like 300 horsepower. Yep. It's really good to drive a real sort of grassrootsy drift car over there and not have all the horsepower because you actually you learn. That's a lot what I was just going to say, obviously, with the big power, you can, you can kind of mask a few, you can mask errors, can't you? Oh, all of them. Um, it's like cheating. Yeah, so with, in theory, with the lower power stuff and seat time plus a ridiculous power car. Yeah. It should be a pretty good combination, really. I don't know what's happened, yeah. <laughs> no, it is. I mean, I haven't had the seat time the last couple of years. Work's yep. got in the way of drifting a bit, to yep. be honest. Uh, we haven't been doing as many practice days and fun mm. days as we'd like, trying to rectify that. We've been doing testing with the new JZX, so I've actually yep. got up to Santa Pod a few times right. as we've been ironing out the setup. Um, had Martin Richards at the last pod just do the final tweaking on the suspension and, right. and steering setup. Getting um, someone like Martin in to do, it, you know, it, he knows what's what. Yeah, he? it's really useful because we got the car to a point where it's like, it's it's good now, it's drivable. I'm not going to roll it over or anything. Do we mention uh, the rollover? No, let's not mention the rollover. It never happened, no. it didn't roll over. Um, but I got to that point where I'm like, I know it's nearly right, but I don't have the understanding to know what we yes. need to change. Whereas Martin has a grip on the physics yeah, and yeah, kind yeah. of understands what to tweak. and It yeah. can sort of give you a bit of a head start on getting that set up. Back yeah, on. and to be honest, within now it's set up, I know that anything that doesn't feel right is me. Yes. And I need no to, one to blame. <laughs> yeah, no one to blame now. Right. I just need to figure it out. Well, it's good to be here. We'll probably see a lot more of them.